Well, we are a graphene manufacturer, so what we do is we get graphite from north of Quebec and we exfoliate it to graphene. If you think graphite is a deck of car, graphene is a single car. So we manufacture this material. It's a, it's a new material discovered in 2010. It won the Nobel Prize and um, it has special properties. It has, is the strongest materials in the world. It has the highest thermal conductivity of the world and electrical, bendable, magnitude of all these properties ended up winning the Nobel Prize for its discoverer at 2010. So what we do is we manufacture this material and we put it into different applications. In plastics, if you mix it with the plastic, it brings the capability of cooling down the plastic. Uh, it's increased the strength of the plastic, so anywhere you see a metal, you can replace it with the plastic that has graphene in it. So you can call it data centers, uh, chassis, you can call pipes, you can call it like a, um, any, any parts that needs to be cooled down, consumer electronic, packaging. So these are applications of graphene. There's two types of graphene. One is a, uh, is a coating, is a thin film type, and the other one is a powder. So we are in the fluffy powder manufacturing part, um, and companies like Samsung and IBM are doing uh, teen films for electronics, touch panel displays. We are not playing in that part of the market, but we are doing powders that you can mix it with the plastics, with the battery. You can put it in the batteries, lithium-ion batteries. You can make coatings out of it. You can make, um, let's say, paints, electrostatic paints and uh, anti-corrosive paints. So applications of powder is much larger. Maybe a third, uh, maybe quor um, a quarter goes for the. Um, tin films and the rest is for the powder. Head tennis racket. Oh, head tennis racket. Yeah, it has graphene in it. Um, there is port equipment that graphene in it. Um, uh, some some inks for microelectronic is already have some graphene in it. But there are some applications you probably can't buy them in the grocery store, but they're out there. Today, some carbon fiber is being used. Very soon, there would be graphene. So we will see rapid um, you know, adaptation in the plastic market and batteries coming in a few years. If you think about um, you know, all this hype about electric vehicles and all the interests that um, make things electric, you need to reduce the weight or improve the battery to extend the range. So graphene does both. Graphene reduces the weight of the electric vehicles by replacing metal with plastics. And also graphene goes to the anodes and cathodes and lithium ion batteries increases the capacity of the batteries, so it increases the range of electric vehicles. So I would say there would be a lot of uh, discussion and application in the electric vehicle and transportation world. As a startup, we always raise money, right? So it's, it's a dilemma of every day. Um, we are a group of 70 individuals. We are selling quite decently, and uh, we produce a large volume of graphene. Uh, we can make 400 metric tons of master batch uh, plastics. And uh, we have also a factory with multiple injection molding and blow molding capabilities and equipment. So we can make the final piece for the OEMs. Um, this makes us vertically integrated. And that's what I think uh, helps us to, to keep all the costs down and make it reasonable for the end user to, to, to benefit.